story time with Mrs. Gates. Every Wednesday it'll be great. You'll find it in the email. Time for this week's new tale. Hi guys, welcome to story time. Today I'm going to read a story titled The Giant Jam Sandwich. And it is uh, written by John Vernon Lord. And this is one of, a story that my kids grew up with and really enjoyed. I think you'll like it. One hot summer in itching down, four million wasps flew into town. They drove the picnickers away. They chased the farmers from their hay. They stung Lord Swell in his big, fat, bald pate. They dived and hummed and buzzed and ate. And the noisy, nasty nuisance grew till the villagers cried, what can we do? So they called a meeting in the village hall and Mayor Muddlenut asked them all, what can we do? And they said, good question, but nobody had a good suggestion. Then Bap the baker leaped to his feet and cried, what do wasps like to eat? Strawberry jam. Now wait a minute. If we made a giant sandwich, we could trap them in it. The gentleman cheered, the lady squealed, and Farmer C said, use my field. Bap gave instructions for making the dough. Mix flour from above and yeast from below. Salt from the seaside, water from the spout. Now thump it, bump it, bang it about. While they were working and working hard, some more made a tablecloth out in the yard. When they were done, the dough was left to rise till the loaf was a mountain in shape and size. They hitched it up with a bit of fuss to tractors, cars, and the village bus and took it to the oven they made on the hill, 50 cookers in an old brick mill. For hours and hours they let it cook. It swelled inside till the window shook. It was piping hot when they took it out and the villagers raised a mighty shout. Isn't it crusty? Aren't we clever? But the wasps were just as bad as ever. The loaf was left to cool, and then the people watched while six strong men took a great big saw and sliced right through. Everybody clapped, and they cut slice too. The village bus, they all agreed, would spoil the fields of farmer's seed. So eight fine horses pulled the bread to where the picnic cloth was spread. A truck drew up and dumped out butter and they spread it out with a flap and a flutter. Spoons and spades, slap and slam. And they did the same with the strawberry jam. Meanwhile, high above the field, six flying machines whirred and wheeled, ready for the wasp to take the bait. And then there was nothing to do but wait. Suddenly the sky was humming. All four million wasps were coming. They smelled that jam, they dived and struck, and they ate so much that they all got stuck. The other slice came down, cursed flat, on top of the wasps, wasp, and that was that. There were only three that got away, and where they are now, I cannot say. But they never came back to itching down, which is not a waspish sort of town, but a very nice place to dance and play. And that's what the villagers did that day. Let's dance, everybody. Clap 
what became of this sandwich? Well, in itching down, they like to tell how the birds flew off with it in their beaks and had a feast for a hundred weeks. Okay, boys and girls, this is another AR quiz. It's quiz number 6117. I hope you had fun with this. Go have another dance party. Have a great day.